You want one word that best describes Tracy? Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to a Tracy community. Grimshaw is indomitable. I'll give you two. Classy and loyal. Wow, fun. She's great fun. Don't like our chances of getting some fresh fish tonight, mate. Cool. <laughs> Just hit her in the head with it. Because you just take your thing. Tracy, Tracy, God, Tracy, oh my God. The ultimate, absolute professional, and that is why you've got the trust and respect of Australia. Your ability to ask the right question at the right time. You'd want to get your facts right. Where have you been? Well, I think that's a bit unfair, Tracy. Would you have called someone a, a, a dumb slut? No. I think you're cranky, so I'm going to let you start. What do you have to say? My life would not be the same without you and your stories on ACA. Um, you made a massive difference in my life. It was truly an honour to share our story with you um, and to work with your team. Tick Meg and I, as well as the Dolly Stream community, would all like to thank you for your ongoing support. Happy 40th, mate. Warmest congratulations on 40 years and a glittering career. Congratulations, here's to another 40 years, and I hope to see you soon. Trace, well done. Congratulations. I love you. 40 more years, I hope. <laughs> Gee, you've been around and you've seen a lot of... You've got a lot of good friends, Trace. You truly do. Oh, you well, know? I've just been reminded of that. It's, yeah. it's lovely. You know, I, I get very embarrassed about this stuff because I yeah. hate things being about me, but it's actually been quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> but I must say, you know, I'm watching that and seeing all the different hairstyles of Tracy oh Grimshaw goodness. over the decades. The 80s weren't good, were they? For no. anybody, actually, were No, they? no, it, was, it had to be yeah. really big. Yes, everything was big. Yeah, that's it. it right up yeah. and permed it and, and destroyed it. And someone told me that one of those stories, you had a, a crocheted pink jacket yeah, on. which I crocheted myself. You made your own clothes. I, I used to make my own clothes. Very talented woman. Which, you know, very <laughs> well, I couldn't afford. You know, you know what cadet journalists That's right, get, exactly. It's not very much. Yeah. You don't um, make them anymore. Do I don't you? make no. them anymore. No, I don't have time for it. But no, I no, still no. could, I reckon. What are your thoughts when you when you look back on the last forty years? I mean, to stay in this job for that long is remarkable. As I said earlier, to do meet so many people. I hate, the, I hate it when people say, what's your favourite story? Because you don't I know. Can't. There's I, just been it, so many, hasn't there? It would there? be like asking a mother who's your favourite child. Yeah. But, um, I, I, look, this, this job's a privilege, isn't mm. it? I, and I, and I rem, I'm reminded of it when I look at those interviews. Mm. None of those people have to sit down and talk to you. No, they and they're usually talking to you about the biggest thing that's ever happened in their lives. Yeah. And it's hard. Mm. And it's a privilege to to listen. It's a privilege Indeed. to be the person that they talk to. But they'll only talk to that person if they trust that person. And they trust you. They, and they make a huge leap of faith. Yeah, yeah they, they do. do. Because no one wants to go on national television and divulge their innermost secrets, their family secrets, things that they like to keep in themselves. But they do that to share the grief or to share the warning to others out there. And you manage to get out the best out of people. You really do, Trace. Oh, thanks, and Greg. We sit in that office and, you know, I think Lebo said on one of those packages there, he said, you know, she doesn't panic, she's relaxed, <laughs> she doesn't stress and she doesn't lose a cool. And you don't. You're very, you're very calm and relaxed. You're very friendly, chirpy in the office. You're not a prima donna. She's not a prima donna, <laughs> anybody at home. She's not. She is just who you see. Oh. You are. And we couldn't let this moment go by without giving some sort of token of thank you. And Sophie, our floor manager, is coming oh, over now. Oh, goodness me. We have blown the budget here at A Current Affair. <laughs> thank you so much. And we got a couple of flowers out of the garden for oh, you. That's, that's so lovely. Did you, what, did you go down I the street and you them. pinched them from all the neighbours, well, we did, did you? No. That's nice. No. Because we're we, on a budget these days. I'm sure that we'll be having a little tipple at some stage, um, but the whole office. Um, Thank but we goodness. just want to say thank you. Now because, we're out of lockdown, um, we can all get together. Yeah, indeed, aren't we? All righty. I don't know what happens next. Do we throw to something else? Do I, we? I think I think we might I think we might stop talking about me and we might get back to business. So thank you, Braid. Thank you, everybody. I'm just going into the office to talk to them about this big surprise in a minute. I have no idea what's next, but we'll be back in a moment. <laughs>